What's up RPM team? We wanted to show you guys the life cycle of a car that gets freshly imported from Japan at RPM. This is a part two to the one that we showed you guys how we bid on them. Um, this is a freshly imported version ST Fair Lady and manual. Uh, we want to kind of use this as an example um, to see what actually happens at RPM and how we get a car ready for the roads. So with this one here, the first step is obviously put it through compliance and see if it's roadworthy or not. So follow me as we check out what they do to it. Basically a compliance check is a WAF check on roads. They strip out all the interior and the inspector goes and marks everything to make sure that there's no corrosion in the vehicle. Uh, they put it onto a hoist, they take off the wheels, the brake pads come out, they inspect everything, the rotors, etc. And once the inspector has approved it, then you can get that WAF sticker and you can go onto the roads looking like a sleek owner with a 350Z. We just picked up this fair lady from the compliance center. We got a check sheet, so it wasn't a straight pass. It needed some brake rotors, brake pads, and also some tires. Um, we decided to let the compliance center just fix the rotors and brake pads. It just saves time sometimes, even though they're a little bit more expensive. Uh, and then also for the tires, it, we don't think that these fair lady wheels look that great on them. Um, so especially since it needed tires, we're just gonna go take it to Mag and Turbo and do some aftermarket wheels, which will give it that sex appeal. Uh, but while I was just driving it, um, and we encourage anyone that kind of moves these cars to kind of just give them a bit of a test and, and let us know if there's anything else wrong with it. Uh, we just, well, I just figured out that it's, the clutch is actually slipping, so we're gonna have to go take it to the mechanic after Mag and Turbo. Um, but a clutch isn't a compliance issue, it is just a mechanical issue that we're gonna have to fix. So after Mag and Turbo, I'm gonna probably take it to back to VTNZ, get the compliance sorted, and then I'm gonna take it to my mechanic to get the clutch sorted and then we're going to take it to groom to get the groom sorted then we're going to get crews to list it up and then it's going to be on sale for y'all surprise guys mike's not here he's just gone to europe to enjoy his time uh, so i'm going to take over from here um, we're here at the grooming spot uh, as you can see we've got new shoes on the car we've got a new waff we've taken it back it's past compliance after getting the new tires and rotors and all that kind of work done um, it's finally at the stage where we're going to have to clean the car so what we generally do is engine bay exterior if it needs a polish the boys give it a polish um, interior gets done it's nothing crazy but it's at the point where we can actually sell it um, obviously if it needs any kind of panel stuff we get that done as well but this was actually very clean now the car's driving a lot better since it's had the clutch done as well so um, we're, we're quite happy with it there was nothing else to actually um, do on it either once we had it checked out by the mechanics um, I guess now we're just gonna get the boys to do what they can on it um, and try and get it listed ASAP it's a Friday so it is a little bit hectic but I'm sure these boys are gonna do a good job on it eh? let's see how it looks after it's done Dedicated to my granny. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the mood. Yeah, I just hit And there you have it, guys. Here's the end result. So, obviously, we've just finished grooming the car. It's looking spicy, which is great. Um, obviously, you guys seen in, uh, as, as we were going with the grooming, you realized that the actual struts weren't working. Um, I've actually managed to get that done 
right now. So literally the guy came, got them sorted. Now we've got the car ready and it's ready to be listed, which is great. In this industry, the sooner you can get cars listed and online, the faster we can sell them, the faster we can pay people. All right, so obviously um, this is a, a, a bit of a good one because there was mechanical issues that it had, it had compliance issues, um, it had that strut issue, um, and obviously it needed a really good clean, it needed new wheels. We've done all of that so you get to see what the life cycle of a car and RPM is from when it lands at the compliance center to when we get it online. Obviously there's still one more step left and that's for Cruzy Boy to get this car pictured up and listed online tonight. So hopefully we'll get that done very shortly and you'll see it listed on the RPM website and uh, trade me. Hey, thanks everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that was just a little bit of an insight on what we do here at RPM behind the scenes. Obviously it's a car that's come from Japan. Um, we've managed to get it all complied up and ready to go. Now, most importantly, do not forget to follow all of our social media channels. Um, and remember that everyone that subscribes to our YouTube channel goes into the draw to win $1,000 once we get 1,000 subscribers in. And anyone that's actually subscribed gets $500 off any car that we have at any point. So if it's today, tomorrow, 10 years from now, if you buy a car from us and you're a subscriber, we're gonna give you $500 off that car. Thank you very much. You guys take care, eh?